You're the poor little deserted mother to be, and that crumb's running out on you. That's my kid! That's my kid! You know, September, it means you couldn't possibly be the father. But I want you to pass out those cigars anyway. I don't want you to give a damn when people laugh. Laugh? Why would they laugh? It's because they can count. Can you count? Early fall. Here's a copy of Roxy's first statement. It says she hadn't copulated with you for four months prior to the incident. Yeah, that's right. We hadn't done no copulating in four months, early fall. Now, wait a minute. But I want you to forget all that. My client needs your support. Well, that don't figure out right. I couldn't be the father. Divorce her? <laughs> Is that what you said? My God, man, you wouldn't divorce her. Over a little thing like that, would you? You're damn right. That's what I'll do. I'll divorce her. She probably won't even notice. You still here, Andy? I thought you'd gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. I think. Glad to see you. March 5th is only a few weeks away, and I've been making plans. Look, for the trial. Silver shoes with rhinestone buckles. You like them? Very nice. I'd like them wear something else if you don't. Look, kid, your trial date's been set back. Oh, no. Less than a month I had to, sweetie. And who got my date is if I didn't know? Roxy Hart? Look, there's a lot of pressure on me. She's having a baby, for Christ's sake. Yeah, tell me about it. Listen, friend, I figure if I'm sensational in court, I can get things moving again. I've been thinking a lot about my trial. Can I just show you what I thought I might do on the witness stand? Go ahead. Hit it! When I got up on the stand, I thought I'd take a peek at the jury. And then I crossed my legs like this, you know? The double takes the stand! Cross-examines me, I thought I'd give him this. And if he yells at me, I'll tremble like this. Oh no, please stop! And Bella takes a stand. Look at little Belle. See her give him hell. Ain't she doing great? She's got me now on the palm of her head. And then I thought I'd let it get all too much, like real dramatic. <gasps> your repentance blah 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 and then i'll say if sorrow could avail fred casely would be here now for she would give her life and gladly to bring the dead man back and you nod that's all that's all and then i say but we can't do that gentlemen you may take her life but it won't bring casely back and that's always news to them <laughs> then i go to my final statement winding up we can't give her happiness but we can give her another chance and that's all for you like hell it is. It's me they want to see, not you. It's my speech that brings them in, and it's my speech that will save your neck. I'll screw you, you goddamn old oh, crap. Shut up, you Mr. dirty Flynn. Mr. Flynn. His honor is here. Just a moment, thank you. Are you ready? No, oh, Billy. I'm scared. You got nothing to worry about. It's all a circus, kid. A three-ring circus. These trials, the whole world, it's all show business. But kid, you're working with a star. The biggest. Give them the old razzle-dazzle, razzle-dazzle Give them an act with lots of flash in it And the reaction will be passionate Give them the old hocus pocus Beat and feather them How can they see with sequins in their eyes? Champion of the downtrodden! Ladies and gentlemen,
gentlemen. You and I have never killed. We can't know the agony, the hell that Roxy Hart has lived through there. This drunken beast, Fred Casey, forced his way into her home, forced liquor upon her, physically abused her, and threatened her life. At that moment, mother love and a deep concern for her neighbors stirred within her. She shot him. We don't deny that, and she has prayed to God for forgiveness for what she has done. Yes, you may take her life, but it won't bring Casely back. What? <laughs> look, look closely at that frail figure. My God, hasn't she been punished enough? We can't give her happiness, but we can give her another chance. You've heard my colleague. Call her temptress, call her adulteress, call her murderess. But despite what the prosecution says, things are not always as they appear to be. Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? And what is your verdict? We find the defendant! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! You should see what's going on out there! There was a divorce!